Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you another way of creating an interactive button in Adobe InDesign. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Show and Hide Buttons and Forms panel to create a rollover effect over images to have text appear at the same time. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a digital layout here for a fictional company brochure and I want to have these three images up top have a rollover effect that will have the information underneath the image appear when you roll over the images. To do this, we're going to have to create all of these into buttons and then use the show, hide, buttons and forms uh, tool to create that effect. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to click on my first image here. You want to open buttons and forms to do that. Just go up to window, interactive, buttons and forms. Same thing with animation, which we'll get to in a, a little bit. Click on animation, window, interactive, animation. I'm going to make my way back to buttons and forms. With my first image selected, I'm just going to click this drop down here for the type and I want button. You can also create a button by clicking this, convert to, um, let me just hit Command Z. I can click this to convert to button as well. So either way, you can do the drop down or click that icon down below. I'm going to rename, always rename the buttons. And in this case, I'm just going to call it profile image one. Let's do the same thing to the, the second image button profile image two and let's go to the third one and also create that into a button and let's call it profile image three now all three are buttons but we have to start adding events and actions to these buttons so let's go back to the first one profile image one how do I want this to occur do I want to tap it do I want to um, click on it. I want to have a rollover effect. So let's click that rollover. And now let's add an action to this. Um, actually, let's wait for that. Let's do that as well. Click on the second one, have that on rollover. And this one as well on rollover. And we'll add an action to these three once we've taken care of the information boxes down below. Click on the first one, change that to a button. Profile info one. Naming these will actually help you when you're setting up the actions and the and the events. So what do I we just leave the event at at release or tap, that's fine. Create that into a button. Profile info two and finally button profile info three so we've set up buttons profile image one two three profile info one two three okay so now setting these up will be a lot easier let's go back to our first image and the event will be on rollover the action will be show hide buttons and forms. Okay, I'm going to click that. And as you can see in the visibility here, it has all six of the, um, the images and the text that I, I named the buttons. So in this case, what do I want? I want the profile one info to be visible. Okay, I'm going to click on the second profile info two and hide it. I'm going to click on three and hide it. So it's the eyeball with the little slash. If you leave it on ignore, this technique will not work. So it's important that you have the first one visible and then have the other two not visible. So now when I hover over my first image, it's going to have this appear. But let's do something else. So down below in appearance, we have the normal. So this is how it will look like even before I roll over that image. I'm going to click on rollover. So now I have normal and rollover selected. 
but they're the same. There's nothing to distinguish the two. I'm gonna click back on normal. Double click on your image until you see that dashed border become a solid border. And I want to change the opacity to 70%, okay? And you can see now normal, it will be at 70%. Rollover will have it highlighted at its full opacity. Normal, rollover, okay? Let's go on to image two. Let's set that action to show and hide buttons and forms. I want to hide profile info one, show profile info two, and hide profile info three. Let's go to the third image. Click the action, show hide buttons and forms. Let's hide profile info one, hide profile info two, and show profile info three. Let's go back to our second image and do that same rollover effect. Click on normal, double click, and change the opacity to 70%. There's normal, there's rollover. Normal, rollover. So you have that, you have that uh, difference of the two. Let's click on the last one and do the same thing. Click rollover, click back on normal, double click and change it to 70%, okay? And you have that, the difference between the two. So that's perfect. So let's go ahead and test these out. Oh, one other thing that we have to do as well, these are already buttons, so that's good. But one additional step you have to take here is click on the first information frame, text frame, and down below, it'll say hidden until triggered. So go ahead and click that. So these will not, this will not show until I roll over my, my images. Let's do the same with the last two. Hidden until triggered, hidden until triggered. And what I'm gonna do is down below in my buttons and forms panel, you'll have a preview spread EPUB. I'm gonna click that and it'll bring up this window where I can now take a look at my work. So as you can see, there's nothing there. My text frames are not appearing, but when I hover over, that one appears, that one appears, and that one appears. So that's a cool way of creating rollover buttons in Adobe InDesign. I showed you another way of doing this using object states. This is another way of creating the same type of effect um, using uh, show and hide buttons and forms. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the same, but also add an animation. I have another set of text frames down below that I want to turn into buttons. Only this time, I want to animate all three and have a rollover effect over these three circles down below that will have these text frames appear from the bottom, fly out from the bottom in an animated way. So I want to click on the first one, go to your buttons and forms and create that into a button. Let's change the name of this to info box one. Let's click on the second one, button, info box two. Let's click on the third one, change it to a button, info box three. Let's go back to the first one and switch over to our animation panel. I like to tear it off and you know, have it right next to it so you can just toggle between buttons and forms and animations rather than going into your flyouts here. So in the animation, info box one, under the preset, I want it to fly in from bottom. Let's click the second one, info box two, choose fly in from bottom. Last one, info box three, choose the preset fly in from bottom. So these are set. You can see the green arrow showing you which way this animation will come in. And we've set all three to fly in from bottom. So that's good. I'm going to move my way down to these three circles here because now I want to have a rollover effect over these that will be connected to all three of these text frames. Let's click on the first one. And 
let's let's go back to buttons and forms and change that to a button. I'm going to call this indicator one, and I want this to have a rollover effect. Okay. In the actions, we're going to add two actions to this to all three of those circle buttons down below. The first one is I want it to have um, the animation play. And so I have it here, info box one. So this button is connected to this animation now, but I also want to select another action to show hide buttons and forms. So this circle now has two actions, the animation, and we're going to have it show when you roll over it and hide when you go to the next one, much like I did in the previ previous example. So with my with the circle still selected, I want to scroll down to the bottom and I want to have info box one visible and two and three not visible. I'm going to change these into buttons as well. Indicator two and let's change this one to indicator three. Perfect. Let's go back to the second one. Actually, let's go back to the first one. We're not quite done there yet. Remember, I showed you the appearance. So we have a normal state, and then let's click on rollover. You could see they're both the same color. So if I roll over it, nothing's going to happen. It's going to change. It's going to stay that color that I have selected. So with rollover selected, zoom in, double click. Now I have, I, what I did is I drove into that rollover selection and I'm just going to change the color to another Pantone. And you can see if I go back here, I have my normal state and a rollover state. Okay, let's do that to the other two. Let's click the second indicator two. Yes, rollover. Let's go to animation because we want, we want that animation to appear. But we have to change the animation from info box one to info box two. So it's this one. I do want, oh, let's also do a show and hide buttons and forms. I want to hide info box one. I want to show info box two. And I want to hide info box three. Let's create a rollover effect. So Let's change that to the other Pantone blue that I have here. Perfect. And let's go back to normal here. Let's click our last button, indicator three. Yes, it's a on rollover. Let's change it to the animation. Change it from info box one to info box three. Let's create another action to show hide buttons and forms. Let's hide info box one. Let's hide info box two. Let's show info box three. Let's scroll down to the bottom and click on rollover. Hover over your final circle indicator, double click, change it to Whatever color you want, I have a Pantone blue, which is nice. The color combo is nice here. So let's test this out and see if this works. I'm going to click on the EPUB preview. I do actually, let's go back because I need to. Okay, that's not, that's, I don't want that. So let's click on the first one and let's hide it until triggered. This is the info box that I've created. Click on the second one. Let's hide it until triggered. And let's click on the third one and hide until triggered. And another thing we need to do is you notice that it played on page load and I don't want that, okay? So click on the first one and see here in the events, it does still say on page load and rollover. Let's click that events uh, drop down and uncheck on page load. I don't want that appearing once I, I load the page. Let's click on the second one and uncheck on page load. 
Let's go to the last one and uncheck on page load. And I'm going to test it out now. There should be nothing there appearing. And I'm just going to hover over. You could see um, my indicator is changing color and that first one's popping up. But I'll go to my second one and you could see the same things happening. And then finally the third one. And you can make your way back and forth and these up here. So you get a cool interactive layout with the show hide buttons and forms, but you add a little bit more interactivity down below with the animation. Let's publish this online and see how it looks. As you can see, nothing's appearing until you actually roll over these buttons. So go ahead and roll over them. You can see that one lit up, which is nice. Second one lights up. Third one lights up. Let's go down below. Click on the first, second, and third. You can see those indicators are turning to blue when I hover over them. Okay. I should mention to you that while the show hide buttons and forms will work in PDF, the animation that I've set up here will not. So that's something to keep in mind if you're doing this. Um, if you're going to add an animation with the show hide buttons and forms, keep it to an EPUB or online interactive layout. Otherwise, that will not carry over to PDF. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. That's it for today, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye now.